Let's Yeah, that's fine. Why am I looking? Complete. I don't know. I'm not cussing. I <laughs> you can good. totally <laughs> say whatever it is that you want. I don't actually know. I always think that I like put on enough people. Hey, how are you? Hey, Live Ross, thank you. Fire Goddess Mama Vic, thank you guys so much for joining me. All right, so I want to show you guys kind of what I did the last time. So we did these super duper awesome simple nails with some bling and some metals. So it just kind of shows like if you um, don't have a lot or whatever that you still can create some beautiful nails. So this way you guys know. Secondly, what I want to say is I still do have my graffiti class available on my Teachable. You can totally find the link in my bio, um, on my IG page and you can make all sorts of super fun stuff. This is the design that I will be showing because it is the simplest and you can kind of just build on top of that and make some really cool stuff. Third thing I'd like to go over is that I do have this collab with um, Medusa Nails going on. You can come and join us on October 5th on Medusa's page. You can find that also in one of my recent posts. Hey, Janessi. Um, there is a kit for this, and there we are going to do a contest as well. So you can win some fun stuff. So that's just real quick. So what we're actually going to be doing today is my friend Sarah's wonderful nails. So I did do the fill and everything, but we are going to be doing some uh, 3D on these two fingers. So, <laughs> so I'm going to be using some of this. So this is from the Glow Collection. It's ultraviolet. It's from Glam and Glitz. So this is color GL2023. So if you guys are wondering, and then I have a black. This is actually premium nails black. I just put it in a smaller pot because I actually have the huge container, but we're not going to be needing all that. Hey Deb, how are you? So, but this way you guys just have like a idea of what we're going to do. So we're just going to be doing some fun 3D, but this is uh, going to be a two-tone type design. The brush that I am using is the Crystal Nails 3D brush, but you can use whatever brush it is that you like the best. So lots and lots of fun. So here we go. Oh, there I have a fuzz on my page. On my <laughs> little little phone. <laughs> Look, I said page, Sarah. Look I'm, at that. I'm rubbing off on yeah, me. a little rubbing off of me. Just a smidge or whatever. So I'm just going to dip it in the purple and then dip it in the black, just like so. So you guys can kind of see like what I'm doing for each and every bead. So I do apologize if I do not hear you right away or see your message right away. Um, if you do have a question, make sure that you ask it maybe a couple times or maybe send me an inbox so I can get that answered for you. So, but I am going to be doing my best. We're gonna do some on roses so yes these roses will glow afterward i mean it is getting close to halloween i don't know if anybody else's clients or whatever like to do halloween like in september and october but that's exactly how my clients are they really really enjoy that so but just so i can like show you guys some fun stuff hey bella how are you hi cc thank you guys all so much for joining me just make sure that each bead is about the same size. Just dip it on in there. And I know it's a little bit hard to see like on the live video, um, the two-tone style effect that we have going on, but it does actually exist. You'll be able to see more in the, the final photos. 
So I'm basically just trying to make this a little bit flatter. Sarah has some really nice long nail beds and nice long nails. So this makes this super easy to show this for you guys. Let's see if we can get this color a little bit more. Yes, it is acrylic. So it is the Glam and Glitz Glow Powder number GL2023. Nah. I mean, maybe she did. It's going to happen, right? As long as I don't pull your cord out, we're good. That's right. I mean, <laughs> listen, I shut off the light the other day on accident when I was on live, and I was like, oh, shit. Like, <laughs> what am I supposed what? to be doing? Like, I really messed that up, so. But I'm not really worried too much about the center of these petals right now because, like, I am going to be layering on top so I don't have to worry too much. Just know that when you are using acrylic and stuff like that, um, you've got like 40 to 60 seconds before it really starts to set up on you. So, thank you Libras. So now I'm going to layer some other ones, some other petals on the inside here. just at the bottom. So you guys can kind of see that I am using the black on the center. So this actually adds some more depth and dimension into my design. Go on to the next petal. Let's put it this way. It was so funny too, because Sarah and I we were totally contemplating on what colors that we were even gonna do today. <laughs> so it's actually worked out really nice. Yes. Mm-hmm. I like the purple and the black. Well, and it's a good change up from your last one too, Sarah. Yeah. I'm sure that everybody knows the ones that, um, the nice marble Louis V nails, those were Sarah's nails, so. They were so pretty. Yes, yeah, so if you haven't seen those, you can totally check them out on my feed. Just like so. Make sure that when you guys are doing 3D and stuff, that you're using a good quality um, monomer and polymer. Because if you do not, then it's not going to set up properly. And then you're just going to be having issues. So then like the outside of your 3D pedal might not be uniform or smooth. Um, that sort of situation. Or it might run. I prefer to have something a little bit more stiff. So I can just basically place it and just move it where I want it. Because I don't want to fuss with it too, too much. I know, right? make it look so easy I know <laughs> just turn this little blob and in, blob into a petal <laughs> <laughs> literally just a little center just gonna turn it in for a little curl really fun okay so let's see if you guys can see that now Ah, well, I mean, you could definitely just try Bling Boutique. Don't, like, be afraid, you know, to try anything. Oh, thank you, Janie. Thank you, Mama Vic. Thanks, Debbie. So, super duper pretty. 
So I'm just going to add another little small one. Do I want to add a small one? Maybe I want to do two on the middle finger, Sarah. What do you think? Should I do two on the middle and then like just do the one on this one? Sure. Okay. Whatever you think. All right. So I'm going to do some. Oops, sorry. Oh, definitely take some practice. Hey, Chloe. You're going to be starting to show off those 3D skills, girl. <laughs> so get it together. Use the colored acrylic that you have. Practice. Yeah, I definitely am at work late tonight. But, I mean, unfortunately, because I was not well, I have to make some sacrifices. Luckily, it's for one of my friends, so it's not so bad. <laughs> oh, you did do some 3D today, huh? <laughs> mm. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. Did you post it, or are you going to send it to me in the DM? How are you? Oh, okay, good. Yes, tag me. So I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> I know. I don't got no act right. Chloe knows that though. <laughs> I think I'll add one more petal. Leaf, actually. Let's Let's say right terms tonight. Well. <laughs> I know. You're with me. <laughs> it's so. your fault, Sarah. <laughs> oh, jeez. those little leaves in there. Look at how cute that is. I love it. So, so cute. Hmm? Love it. Super adorable. Love. Yes. <laughs> so, just so you guys know, so this is how, like, my powder looks after I've been, like, dipping in it so many times. So make sure that you are leveling out your powder before you go in for your next flower because it's way easier to pick up your beads. And that goes to the black powder as well. So you just can tap it on the side of the jar in order to make it completely level for you. <laughs> so cute, huh? And it goes really well with this. It does. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit for this next one. So you guys can you slightly can see, see a little bit better. Too. Oh yeah, it is just like slightly shimmery. Yeah, I love it. So I think I'm gonna go this way. So this is gonna be the directionality this way. Hi, Sarissa. Stuff it on in there. Just make sure that you push it right where you want it. And try hard not to touch Sarah's skin, but it just might happen. But she'll be okay because she's my friend, so. Touch all this skin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, money bags. Uh, yes, I have Bling Boutique. I have used 4D gel to create flowers before. It does take a little bit longer. Because you have to make sure that you put the gel on one, one bead at a time, basically, this is the best way to have the best result. As a matter of fact, there is a video still available. I mean, until I do remove them. So if you guys wanted to watch any of my other videos before I remove them, make sure that you do so.
and it actually is like another purple purple and red set actually <laughs> But the great thing about um, gels is that actually you can have that product made before your client comes. You can totally do it with acrylic too, but you need a special type of form. Or like use a nail form and... Oops, go back just a smidge. Um, wrap like a form around like a a brush or something like that you know be creative can't come over for it again oh I'm sorry money you guys will totally be able to come back and watch this later, so don't feel bad about that. I mean, you don't have to uh, live rest, but ultimately, if you don't end up curing each one, you can end up with a muddy mess, too, if you don't know what you're doing. Yes, definitely you guys practice or whatever have any questions let me know ah thank you Sursa Dreaded fuzz. Ah, thank you. Thank you so much, Nini. Hi, how are you? I'm sorry that you guys are having troubles or whatever tonight. It's so funny too because it's like everything is crystal clear on my end. No problems at all and then unfortunately you guys are having some issues with Instagram tonight. Instagram's been ah, weird thanks, lately. Thanks, Sarissa. You've been having problems too? Yeah, it wouldn't let me post pictures the other day or nothing. Maybe they're just doing like a bunch of updates and we just like are not aware. Maybe. Because, you know, sometimes I'd be doing that. Mm hmm I know, right? Ah, oh, thanks, Blink Boutique. Back again. I'm going to do the center. <laughs> oh, thanks. Awesome, Mama Vic. Oh, yeah, there is a hurricane going on right now, isn't there? I always forget about this sort of stuff. I forgot too. <laughs> I think I read something about it this morning and I totally forgot. Crazy. It definitely is. cute right now for the smaller one underneath here Oops. 
Is that your appointment call, Sarah? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's like usually the sound my phone makes when I have a voicemail. Really? But the phone didn't ring. Yeah, I can't. Weird. It, calls don't come in and I can't make calls oh, out. Oh, yeah, it I sucks. forgot. Yes, I'll be getting a new phone soon. <clears throat> definitely. Wow. Yeah, it's annoying. That's definitely annoying. You know how our, like, our phone will say, like, calling hey, before Nuna. it connects? Yeah. Hey, Sassy Melanin. That's all mine says. Calling, 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 calling. Never rings. Wow. Yep. That is crazy. Okay. <laughs> Need to level them playing fields. Mm hmm For real, for real. Got our little happy one down here. Yeah, it looks fine on here. Yeah, everything's fine. Hey, how are you? Just layer on top of one another. Just be careful, like, not to make, like, the base layer too, too thick. Because if you do, then putting these other petals on top is just going to be a hot mess. And we don't want that, right? So... Off a little excess off the side because we don't want to distort the shape. Yes, they are going to glow. <laughs> Hopefully we can get them glowing on live, but we will see. Just tap the tip in. Just the tip? Okay, just the tip, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm selling the shirt. <laughs> Over here giggling. <laughs> like, hee hee hee. I was gonna say that's what she said, but. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. I know, right? Yes. Adorbs. Okay, let's put, I think I want to put a leaf right here. So let's make this a little bit uncomfortable.
Hey, hey Raina. Okay, I think I'm gonna put another little small one up in there. Details, details, guys. It definitely does matter, so. If this little guy is like tucked back in there. And this is just on that Koopa mat. You can find it in my Amazon store. Obviously, if you are pushing product and stuff around too much on it. Then you'll have some problems. But. Just try not to. That's all. So you can see how it kind of like fills that area. So now I'm going to put some right in here. Just using the black. like so hi how are you Now I'm going to put some down here. I love it. It's so cute, right? I love it. I think it's turning out adorable. It really is. Can't wait to flip people off. I know, right? <laughs> That's the best part about this. I have some flowers for you. <laughs> like in case you were wondering. Watcha. Same thing, a little half petal down here. Thank you so much, Raina. I appreciate it. So it's like this little petal is going off, the, the leaf is going off, the nail. You, you stop I'm, it, Sarah. I'm telling you. I'm, stop making me do right, this. You're channeling me. <laughs> uh, I'm inside of you. <laughs> Yeah, because that sounds good. <laughs> oh, God. God, it went with just the tip theme, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. That's hilarious. Loving, loving, loving it. It's so cute, right? Mm -hmm. More okay. proof that black goes with anything. Literally anything. So you guys can see this. Ooh, maybe I want to put, I think maybe I want to put a little one up in there. Somehow I knew we were going to come back to that nail and <laughs> do something <laughs> to it. Uh, because I'm extra. Okay, I'm like, Sarah. She'll be right back to this nail, I think. <laughs> She's going to be like, wait, I could put one more thing right here. Yeah, literally. <laughs> like I always do. Like, uh, I'll just put... <laughs> Just a little wee bit of something right here. I know. Extra, extra. Read all about it. 
there we go looks much better now honestly so so I'm just gonna keep on doing some 3d until like the live ends so I'm not exactly sure like how long it's gonna gonna take but I'm just gonna do some on uh, her other hand here they're so pretty you love it I love it okay good <laughs> I love it. All right, let me change out my towel actually before. So, I know I don't like to be working on the mess. Before, after. Literally. Yes. Put it on top. Yeah, perfect. Like that. Yeah. Super nice, right? Okay, good. Super cute. Mm hmm. Adorable. Love it. And I like how you can still see like the glitter from when my nails were clear. I agree. Love it. That's why, you know, when you're doing like encapsulating stuff, you know, I feel like it's better to just reuse it as much as possible. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, shit, you pay for it, so. Why not utilize it? Ah, thank you, Cuccio, New York. I appreciate that. Shaping is definitely important to me, that's for sure. <laughs> it's honestly, like, one of the main things that people see, like, when they look at your nails. So, I mean, the design is always a plus, but, like, even if you did plain nails and they are perfectly shaped... i just put this one down. Um you will get noticed, so. Facts. So true. I don't think, like, a lot of nail techs, like, really understand that. Especially, you like, younger ones. You are very particular about the shape of your nails. You do not play. I do not. I don't care if I have to hand file, like, the whole thing. No. Like, <laughs> It will Each look pinky nice. Each has to be the same shape, same length, ring <laughs> finger, middle finger, all of it, everything. Yes. Have to be the same. Like, we're not about to be doing none of that. Mm -mm. Can't have you out here Don't looking like a whole shapes. fool. Literally. Yes, exactly, Bling Boutique. It's very important. Blink out, blink out. So, this is so pretty. The next time I come, I'll probably cry when you have to drill it off. Yeah. I know. Everybody always does. There's like, but I don't want to remove it. <laughs> I know. I just want it to stay forever. Right. Like you will be just fine. You're just only gonna cry but until like it's die? Fine. <laughs> right. Literally, <laughs> you didn't die though. So. Yes, exactly, Cucho of New York. It's very important. <laughs> Just layering it. It's like ASMR for you guys, honestly. Because it's, um very repetitive motion when you're doing 3D. When you when you flatten the blobs, it's satisfying for me. I don't you know really? Why. Yeah, okay. I don't know why I like it. Like, ooh. Like, ooh, let me see. It's like clay. Like, I want to squish it and touch it. <laughs> <laughs> definitely is I mean especially because like again like you only get so much time mm -hmm. so before it like sets to where like you can't move it
And I think that's the reason why, like, uh, lace gel or 3D gel is, like, uh, important or more popular mm -hmm. right now because you do get, like, more time to, like, work with it versus acrylic. It just, like, once it's on there, it's, like, set. Right. But, you know, really, I mean, I like that. I like that it, uh, it sets fast. <laughs> Honestly, I use a faster setting monomer. Um when I do this because I don't like to wait forever. I like to just get it on there and I know it's going to look nice. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, of course, I didn't always feel that way when I was like first starting to do nails and stuff like that. But They're beautiful. Well, thank you. I'm glad you approved, Sarah, considering they're on your fingers and you're stuck with them anyway. Yep. <laughs> Just touch, touch, touch. She said, I'm working late. I ain't fixing it if you don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you stuck it. with it, Sarah. That purple, yes. I know. I knew you were going to like it, though, so, you know. I mean, if you didn't, honestly, Sarah, like, why are we friends? Right. I was like, I mean, I've been doing your nails long enough. I should know Most what you like. I don't even tell you what to do. <laughs> I know. <laughs> do whatever you want. I don't care. All right. <laughs> or I'm like, today, like, I want purple and matte. That's all I know. Right. Make it pretty. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I trust your ideas more than mine. So. <laughs> like my tattoo artist. I'm like, you do what you feel because I trust you more than I trust me. So. <laughs> right, like that's actually okay. It's true though. Yes, I love them. They're so cute. That your daughters can't wait for you to come home. Oh my god, yeah. They're like, where, Dad, where's mom? Right, like why did she leave us here with you? It's she should have been home hours ago. Where is she? <laughs> I know. They're so good. They are. All four of your dogs are good. They really are. My and all babies. so different. They I know. all have such personalities. That's like the best thing. Mm -hmm. You know, honestly. Turn this way. You see what I'm doing? You know, don't be afraid to tell your clients to move their hand the way that you need it to do their job, do your job. Break that finger if you need to. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sarah's solution. Like, oh, you need me to cut my finger off? Let's do it. Do Why it. not? Is it gonna be cute? Okay, Make I'll deal with that. Right, exactly. <laughs> oh god. So funny. Mm -hmm. So pretty. Thanks, Nini. Really, you've seen somebody use something that takes like a acrylic that takes too long to dry? That's interesting. That is definitely not something that I would want to do, but I'm going to have to go out on a limb and say it was probably an odorless system because typically an acrylic that takes too long to dry is probably an odorless system. They, it does take two to three times long to dry than a traditional uh, monomer. And the ratio is different, so... The more you know. I know, right? Crazy. Hmm? Scientist. I know. Nail science. <laughs> Magic. I know, right? I'm a magician. I'm a scientist. A wizard. Okay, a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an architect. A designer. You are. Yep. I'm all of those things, Sarah. See a that? bad bitch. Yep. I'm also that. Bad bitch LLC. <laughs> Let's get shirts made. 
Oh, we totally should. That would be fun. Chloe can do it if she's still on here. She can totally make us some shirts. Chloe makes awesome shirts, guys. I don't know if she's uh, on here or whatever, but I get all most of my uh, graphic t-shirts and stuff like that from Chloe. Magic and the monomer, huh? Interesting. Yeah, somebody was saying something about a, a cured monomer recently. I mean, I don't know why anybody would want that, but... Again, like, I would just want to put it on and I want it to be set, so... <laughs> <laughs> yes, all that and a bag of chips, Lyras. so cute. I know I love them. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Does your mom have Instagram? Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. Don't say if she did, she'd be watching us right now for she sure. Would. Hey, classic. How are you, honey? <clears throat> yeah, I don't really get that, like, cured monomer either. So. And they're partying down at Snooker's shit. Girl, that's not even Snooker's. That's down, um, there's a hall, mm -hmm. social hall, right here. Oh, really? Is it in that little, like, the walkway thing? Yeah, right here, actually. Oh, it's right on the here. other side. It's just that the way that this plaza is set up is that they're unit actually runs right behind mine because theirs is longer than mine. I see. Mm hmm I thought it was snookers. I'm like, damn, they are partying hard today. Mm -mm -mm. No, thankfully. Honestly, I hardly ever hear them anymore because like, I don't be paying attention like that. Probably just used to it by now. Like, I yeah, probably it's am. It's normal. Huge. <clears throat> That's crazy, Cuccio, New York. There's no way. Like, ain't nobody got time to be waiting that long, honestly. <laughs> I want to do my job, do it well, and get it done. And I'm using a larger 3D brush, guys. You can totally use a smaller one if you want, but like Sarah has some longer nails, so I can do <laughs> um, larger 3D items. So you just kind of adjust to whatever it is that you need. Oh, thank you, Nini. Make my little C shape. And 
Nice little swirl going on. A little Cinnabon action. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seriously, that's what it reminds me of. Those things are so good. I know. Oh. I haven't had like a Cinnabon. Really? In a while? Oh my god, in forever. My fat ass, my mouth's watering now. <laughs> <laughs> Like, mm, give me some of that Cinnabon of action, yes. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, I don't blame you, though. Those are so good. And the pretzel peddler? Mm, I haven't mm -hmm. had, like, warm pretzels and cheese in forever, either. Me either, honestly. Hi, ICJ. I really haven't either, and I love it, like, with cheese. I mean, especially, like, when I go to the movies and stuff, that's mm -hmm. really, like, my new favorite thing to get. But, like, because the movies weren't open, I still don't think that they are. They, I may be wrong. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I, have, I haven't been to the movies in so long either. It's so crazy, honestly. I keep hearing it. What commercial did I see? I've seen a trailer for some movie. I can't remember what it's called, but it was like coming Friday, coming Friday to theaters. And I was like, and you're like what Friday? I thought theaters were closed. Right. That's weird. All right. Yeah. I was like, by theater, do you mean like Netflix? Hulu, <laughs> Prime, on, on, on demand? demand? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, you don't really know. Mm hmm. the name now it's gonna drive me crazy that i can't think of the name of the oh, movie. of course it was some like thriller that's all i remember mm. it might be like um horror or something like that because i mean it's close to halloween so i'm gonna assume yeah, it was what could was be it something like the that range? something with a d i remember that oh okay I like psychological thrillers. Ones that like. Like really make you think? Yeah. I like horror movies too, but. Do you? They're all getting so like stupid anymore. You know what I mean? Like. Cliche. Yeah. yeah. Like very repetitive, doing the same thing over and over, and you're like, okay, this again, that's cool. Right. Watching fucking serial killer documentaries are like right. almost scarier to me now because it really happened. <laughs> it's definitely true. It's like I can predict that this scary dude is going to jump out at you with a knife in the next scene. I can predict it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like even the meh from the doesn't even make me jump no more. No. But I'm one of those weird people who I like to be scared, but I don't like haunted houses because that's a whole different kind of scared for me. Well, yeah. Plus, I've been scarred because they're not supposed to touch you. And a clown didn't just touch me. He, like, bear hugged me from behind. Ooh. And I already don't like clowns. So, yeah. You're like, uh, yeah. Been so scarred we're... ever since I was, like, 13. Haven't been to one since. Right. Like, we're not doing this All ever done. again. 33 and I still won't go. Oh, wow. I'm like, I'll be in the car. Meet you here. Keep it running. That's crazy. <laughs> you guys go and have fun. Nope. That's crazy. Mm -mm. Okay, now we're going to do the black leaves. Cute. Yes. It's tiny to go on the house. Well, maybe. How, how much money, Sarah? Right, it would depend on how much money and what mm -hmm. is going to be happening in the haunted house. Because you know they got some haunted houses nowadays that are like insane like people pay to go and be like basically fake tortured. Pretty it's much, yeah. Insane. Never in my life. I just want to know, like, how is that, like, some sort of fantasy, right. I guess? I want to know, like, what what's behind that? Like, You're a sociopath. Right, like, how did you, <laughs> like, how did you get that? What, right, what made you feel like, I, I want to be... go be kidnapped and taken hostage and tied to chains in a basement with scary people pretending they're going to kill me? Right. Nope. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, and if anybody's wondering, this purple color here actually is uh, 3S86, I believe it is. It's a crystal nails color. So, hey, Nuna. Nuna put the dang clown emoji. Yuck. <laughs> I hate them. And birds. I don't like clowns and I don't like birds. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yeah, I, for, I always forget that you don't like birds, Sarah, honestly. Like, I always forget that. Yeah. I mean, I'm cool with them. Just don't get too close to me. You know. They're not my... I just... I don't know. Not your favorite thing? No. I think I'd rather touch a snake than really? mess with a bird. Interesting. I mean, I have touched a snake. I have too. It's not, like, so bad. A feather? Just kidding. <laughs> oh, God. It's funny. He's a little jerk. Oh, Nuna says that she thinks that clowns are stupid. Yay. <laughs> they are. They're stupid. I don't know what it is either. Like, a lot of people are scared of clowns. Maybe it's the face paint. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be happy. I and just kind of feel like it has definitely spoiled it, like, for a long ass time ago. Well, for see, everybody. like, I'm okay with that. Like, I like the it movies. But, like, oh, really? To, yeah, to, like, see clowns in real life. Oh, heck no. 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 Oh, no, girl. You will see me run like a two year old. I'm out. Oh, wow. Yeah, like, bye. Gotta go. Like, as a matter of fact, I'm done with this I situation. I forgot that, you know, I had to go wash my car. I'm out. See you later. <laughs> I got to pick up my non-existent toddler from daycare. <laughs> See ya. Uh, as a matter of fact. My dog has a training class. Got to go. <laughs> I forgot I was supposed to be out of town. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's my uncle's birthday party, and I forgot. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, good. I'd rather hold a bird than be around a clown, okay? Uh, Janie says, Mall Santas has always scared her. I can't say that I disagree, honestly, because they definitely do look strange. Are they birds? I mean, do Santas have birds typically? I mean, they have penguins. Santas. Yeah. Mall Santas. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. My child is scared of Santa still to this day. Like, Anthony. Really? I'm like, come on, you're a big boy now. Let's go. Uh... He's like, uh, I no. was like, let's go see Santa. He was like, I can see him from where I'm standing. Oh. I was like, all Listen, right then. That's a true Phyllis answer. I have one picture of him with Santa, and he's screaming his face off. Bah. It's like, yep, nope. Oh, my. He don't mess with Chuck E. Cheese either. Nope. The Easter Bunny. That's Even though funny. he knows, like, it's just a person in a suit, he's like, That's, I'm not cool Like, with that. done. I'm straight, Ma. We're going to pass. Ah, uh, thank you, Bella. So pretty. Yes. Okay, so... I thought someone was knocking on your window. Why? You seeing the reflection of the coat? No, so something wiggled on the desk and it sounded like <laughs> knocks. <sighs> my heart just pounded out of my chest. So this is, the, this is the final result for you guys. This way you can see. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to plug in the LED light. So let's see if we can get it glowing for you all. Set it down. Yeah. Well, because I have to turn off the light to see it this way, you can kind of see a glow, I guess. You know? I have to turn the light off on the live. So while Sarah is curing that, this way we can see if we can get it charged enough, this way you guys can see it glow. I just want to remind you um, that I do have my class up on Teachable. You can purchase right now. You guys would love it if you actually went and seen it. And also, 
that I do have a live coming up with Medusa HQ on October 5th. We are making this awesome pumpkin design. You can totally go and shop the look. Make sure you click the my affiliate link in the bio in case you decide that you're going to shop the look or shop anything period. This way I do get credit for the sale. So I would appreciate that. And let's see. Is it gonna is it gonna show on live? You can kind of see it glow. It's so hard, like I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's just a little bit. It's charged enough this way you can see it glow a little bit, but because I have my um big that's fine. Because I have my light just set on the floor, honey. I have my big lights or whatever, um, in the shop or whatever. You can't really see. But just so you guys can see, these are her wonderful nails. Um, I did 3D for you all. So I'm sure that you will see them a little bit later when I actually do post them. So I'm super glad that you guys were able to come and see these fantastical nails that I did for her. So make sure that you check out my Teachable website as well as... Um, some Medusa gels through my affiliate link as well as my Amazon store and thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I hope you have a good night. Bye!